Yo, what up, hey, how you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today we've got another monthly favourites, this time featuring the month of August, where I'm going to be recapping some of the new cops that I have purchased over the past month, some of the new music I've been listening to, books that I've read, movies or shows that I've seen, pretty much just anything in between. So, let's get going. Month of August, I've said that twice already, you know what month it is. Let's go. Starting off with the fashion favourites, this is where I normally showcase some of the pickups that I've done over the past month. Now, unfortunately, I literally have not been spending any money on clothes whatsoever and so I only picked up a few tiny things, two to be precise, that I'm going to be showcasing and if any more pops up in my head then I'll be sure to show it. Item number one being this black beanie, it's been having a lot of attention and a lot of you guys were asking questions in regards to it ever since I started wearing it on my social media. This one is just a standard black beanie from Rove Island, it isn't even a... I don't know what someone else referred to it on IG as like a shallow beanie in the sense that the this bit, the crown or whatever you would entitle it on a beanie to be very small. I think it was like £10 that I have, as you can see, given it three folds, kind of left it so that the uh, fold is about an inch, fold it twice over, three times, make sure everything is nice and tight and then the way I put it on is literally just leave it on top like this, slide it forward slide the back, make sure everything's sat nicely, tight, no extra bumps, and yeah, there you go, that's item number one, black beanie from Rove Island, £10, you don't have to spend a lot of money, and yes, I do shop at High Street every now and then. Then for item number two, once again, we have another piece of accessories that's gathered a lot of attention over the past month, ever since I've been started wearing it, basically, it's just my earring. I went to Pista, I think at some point last month, Went into Saint Laurent just to check out if they had anything new. Then my boy hooked it up with this piece of accessory that they hadn't even put it out. He, I think he only received a handful of them. Kept one in the bag as he said. He knew that I'd love it. And so yeah, copped that. Let me just get close to the camera. Obviously it comes in two, so it comes in this lovely little Saint Laurent pouch. Are you gonna be able to see it? Focus on that, please. Hold up, yeah, there you go. Saint Laurent pouch. It is an earring, however, it's a fake earring in the sense that there, you don't need to actually need to have like a hole in your ear, it kind of, okay, this is going to be the tough part, especially with my face, so if I can, two seconds, okay, so this is going to be super hard to focus, you're going to have to bear with me for a minute, however, as you can see, is it in focus, yeah, I think it is, two feathers, different length, one comes in ever so slightly longer than the other, and it hangs up on this thing here, can you focus, 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 and it basically just screws into place, so it's like that, no, focus on here, pretty please with the cherry on top, do it, yeah, kind of, you just unscrew, pop it through your ear, in that tiny little gap, boom, that's that basically, sterling silver goes well with everything, everything that I'm wearing as you can see is ster well, silver, so it kind of works with the whole shebang anyway. In terms of fashion favourites, that is pretty much it man. As I've mentioned at the beginning, I just haven't been copying anything. There are a few things that I wish to cop, such as, it's predominantly shoes, so I really want some Gucci loafers, the Princetown slippers to be precise. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did want to cop the ones with the fur as my first purchase, but then I thought, hold up, just get some regular leather or suede ones first and then invest in the fur ones. So I'm gonna get some leather, either black or like a nice brown and then go into the fur. Because the fur just, just looks sick, man. Besides that, yeah, just another pair. I mean, there's two pairs of Saint Laurent shoes, boots, wires, I know, but I just want to finish off the whole Wyatt game so then I'm very happy with the collection. I just want the suede, the black suede with the chain wires and then the black leather harness wires but the ones with the 60 heel I think so the standard ones come with either the 40 or the 30 heel this one has a 60 heel it just looks insane so that is that in terms of future purchases in terms of clothing as you know guys I'm not too bothered I don't mind waiting till the sale yeah there's a few pieces that I'd like such as an overcoat or just, I don't know, anything that I come across that I like, I'll be like, yeah, sure, I'd love to have it. However, clothing is one of the things that I don't mind waiting until I can find it at a very decent price, purely because I know that I can, and also I'm quite happy with my wardrobe at the present time. So there isn't anything that's like, oh my God, I'm dying to have it. With that being said, there are a few things I'm going to be putting up on my Grailed. Links will be in the description down below. Just stay tuned, there might be a few pieces popping up here and there. With music, Obviously everyone loves music, everyone 
their way of consuming music may be different. However, here's my problem. I have been loyal to Spotify for well over three, four years now. Obviously Tidal has come in and Apple Music came in. My problem is, and I understand it's the business of it all and that's how they're gonna gain their, their support from people that wish to use their apps. My problem is all the artists that are giving an exclusive to a certain medium. With Kanye West and The Life of Pablo, it was just on Tidal. Myself and many others downloaded Tidal purely for that album and then deleted it straight afterwards. So I think it had like a three month trial period, listened to it. As soon as The Life of pa Pablo, Pablo, as soon as The Life of Pablo became available on Spotify, deleted my Tidal account and deleted the app. It's, it's just, it's that simple and so, with this month, the reason why I'm bringing this up, there was the Frank Ocean's album, Travis Scott's album, they're all on Apple Music, and I just fear that a lot of other artists will go to Apple Music, and let's be honest, why wouldn't you? It's the, perhaps the most powerful company in the world. I guess the end of the rant is to say that I'm most likely going to be switching over from Spotify to Apple Music, which is a shame because I love Spotify, I love the UI, I love their playlists, it's just, I've been on it, so I've built my own playlist and whatnot. It's just gonna be effort having to redo that all on Apple Music. So my two music favorites that I've discovered over the past month, both were through a, f actually no, one was me and my friend were driving into work, Spotify New Music Friday, came across this artist called Stanage. I don't know how you would pronounce it, S-T-A-N-A-J. It was a song called The Romantic. It's from his debut EP called The Preview. Romantic, what an absolute banger. Like, it's just so sick. This kid's vocals are insane. Definitely a lot more like, it's not your, your r and eh, It's got hints of R&B, I guess you could say, but take a listen to it if you wish. Album artwork will be right here so you know what to look for. Stan Edge, Romantic from his EP. The preview, such a beautiful song. Then recently, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are already aware of this artist, my friend told me to check out this artist called John Wayne, and he does, I guess, hip hop and rap. Yeah, that's it, he does hip hop and rap. Such a sicko, like I love it when, obviously you should never judge a book by its cover, but when someone looks completely different to what they sound like. So when I listened to him, I was like, holy shit, this is sick, blah, 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 blah. You already build up a mental image as to what the person may look like. He was like, oh, now Google him and you'll, you'll be very surprised. And it was just this massive white dude, fat beard. It was just sick. So John Wayne, insane. But one that I keep listening to is called Wonka. Such a banger. Once again, W-O-N-K-A. Album artwork will be right here so you know exactly what to look for. Absolute banger. If you're into hap, hap rap, hip hop, you would, you will, potentially, maybe, like it. John Wayne. So that is music covered. Movies and TV shows. Movies, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not seen any new movies as of recently, which is a shame because there are loads that I wish to see. So, movies, put aside. TV shows, however, as of recording this, Narcos season two has just started. I've already started binge watching that. So that is just sick. I don't need to talk to you guys about it. If you know Narcos, you most likely have already seen the whole season two because I know people binge watch that shit. If not, I'm currently on episode five and it's looking sick. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the get down. Mad, what? Basically, Netflix is absolutely smashing shows. Me and my friend rinsed it in, I think it was two days. To be fair, it's only six episodes, so I'm sure people rinsed it a lot quicker than we did. It was such a banging show. Did I mention it already on the monthly favorites? Did I? Birth of Hip Hop, just sick storyline, great acting, great characters, costume, everything. I have a feeling, I have mentioned it because I was talking about the 70s. But yeah, insane. Did I? Oh, whatever. Okay, so disco, blah, 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 blah. To get down, definitely check it out. With that being said, that is pretty much it for this month's favorite video. Obviously, I added uh, the shelf, which you guys are aware of. I still, I did a whole video on it and I still got questions as to where I got it from. And I'm just like, did you, did you even watch the video? So yeah, shelf from Ikea, this rail from Amazon or eBay, social media, everything is right here if you wish to follow me, S-A-N-G-I-E-B. I post some cool pictures every now and then. I just low-key burp. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Just take care of yourself.
I just added some extra words to my outro there. Not too, not, not feeling it. So have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace. The title for mine and Miko's was Streetwear, Streetwear versus, versus chic. chic. Three Wyatt's. See, this is the bit that always get wrong because I think that the tan, but then they could be the nice piercing. We out here. Was good. Was good in these streets, y'all.